what changed in the last 10 years uh, was basically two things. One, the level of investment in research and development uh, of the country. And second, the emergence of very strong state foundations that also collaborated with the funding for research. If you take those three things together, that is a history of uh, a graduate program that has been going on for the, la for the last 30 years, and then a major increase in funding from both federal and state resources. And at the same time, you have a country that really starts growing. Those three components, I think, that explain, in a way, why Brazil has emerged as a major player in the developing nations seen in science. If the economic situation of Brazil keeps growing by, say, four or five percent a year over the last over the next decade, and the national plans for innovation at the industrial level start really giving results, then you will you, you will have a new actor in the scene. And that new actor is going to be, hopefully, increasing number of graduate uh, of PhDs and master Master student, master, masters in the industrial research. I think that that and legal conditions for that happening may be another turning point, because I agree totally with you that the number of PhDs per million or whatever indicator you want uh, in Brazil is much lower than in a developed country even though we have increased by orders of magnitude the number of PhDs that, are, that graduate each year, we started 20 years ago with about 200, 300, and now we're reaching 10,000. If you look at the overall world scene, we will reach development in terms of using science and technology for development if more PhDs get hired in the private sector. One, second, and as important as, if what we have proposed repeatedly, the development, the sustainable development of the Amazonian re region goes through an S and T revolution. That is, if you incorporate science and technology into the thought of sustainable development of a large region that has essentially very few science and technology centers, again, you will need and you will see another leap forward. Brazil is ready for a new brain gain wave because if the situation is, keeps improving, we will be able to hire good brains from anywhere in the world, of course including Brazil. So my impression is that international collaboration is different today than it was five years ago. International co collaboration for some countries, not the case of Brazil today, means people coming and going, which is an important thing. Now it's more important in Brazil to have joint research or development projects with international partners at the same level and gain brain globally.